Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. Jesus transfigured on the mountain appearing to his disciples. Let us therefore entrust our future and trust ourselves to the glory of our transfigured Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant we pray to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watch, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened, as the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice, and all peoples see His glory. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of His majesty. For He received honor and glory from God the Father, 
when that unique declaration came to him from the majesty glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord jesus took peter james and his brother john and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves and he was transfigured before them and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The disciples were worried, anxious about what the future holds for them. When Jesus predicts that he will die and suffer, when Jesus speaks about the suffering that he will undergo, the disciples normally would think, what will happen to us? What does the future hold for us? That is why Jesus allowed these three disciples, Peter, James, and John, to experience the transfiguration. In a way, Jesus allowed them to see the future, a prefiguration. What will happen to Jesus in the future? After rising from the dead, what will become of Jesus? And in this vision, Jesus tells them of His glory 
that will happen after he rises from the dead. But the Father, towards the end of the vision, gives an instruction to the disciples. The Father said, This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. This is what will guide the disciples towards their future. By listening to Jesus, God will direct, God will lead their future. Mga minamahal na kapatid, siguro po marami sa atin ang katulad sa mga alagad ngayong araw na ito na nagsisimula ang ating ECQ sa iba-ibang parte at panig ng bansa ay magkakaroon ng mas strict na quarantine, community quarantine ngayong araw na ito. At sa iba-ibang lugar ay magtatagal ito ng uh, mahigit isang linggo, dalawang linggo. At marami sa atin ang nag-iisip, after two weeks kaya, ano kaya ang mangyayari? Are we going to have a better future? Or are we going to have more quarantine weeks or days after this? May makakain pa kaya ang pamilya ko after two weeks? Magtatagal kaya ang ayuda na ibibigay? Many of us are anxious of the future, like the disciples, maybe asking themselves, what will happen to us? What will happen to my future? And the Father tells us today, Look at my beloved Son in His glory transfigured before you. And the most important part of the instruction, listen to Him. Mga minamahal na kapatid, kung nais natin na maging maayos ang hinaharap natin ng na mga araw, ng mga linggo, ng ating community quarantine, mahalagang makinig tayo kay Jesus. Kung gusto nating maging maayos ang pupuntahan natin, maging maayos ang mga darating na araw, sundin natin ang sinabi ng Ama, makinig kay Jesus. In our second reading today, St. Peter, one of the witnesses of uh, the transfiguration assured the people that his experience of the transfiguration assures all of us that Jesus is not a cleverly devised myth. But I have become an eyewitness of His Majesty and he is an eyewitness of the power of Jesus Christ. Parang sinasabi ni San Pedro sa atin sa ating ikalawang pagbasa ngayon na ang ating mga hinaharap, ang mga darating na panahon ay ipagkatiwala natin kay Jesus sapagkat hindi siya isang myth, haka-haka o imbento lamang kundi sigurado tayo sa kapangyarihan ni Jesus. And this is also a fulfillment of the prophecy of Daniel in our first reading when he prophesied that the Son of Man will come and the Father will give him power, kingship, glory and dominion this is a proof that jesus is really a glorious king he is not a myth he is not an invention he is truly the glorious king
And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, I urge every one of us not just to be anxious about the future, not just to be afraid of the future, not even to predict the future or rely on predictions. Instead, and trust our future to Jesus. Because we know through the Word of God and through the experiences of the apostles that Jesus is truly a glorious and powerful King. He is not an invention. He is not a myth. He is the Son of God the Father. Wag po nating hahayaan na ang ating mga darating na araw, ang mga darating na linggo, ang mga darating na taon, na panahon, ay ipagkakatiwala natin sa mga nanghuhula lamang. Yung iba, nakadepende sa mga nanghuhula, anong mga mangyayari sa darating na araw, ano ang mga posibleng mangyari sa horoscope mo. <laughs> Pero, sa araw na ito ay sinasabi sa atin kung nais mong maging maayos ang mga darating na linggo, ang mga darating panapanahon, kahit sa gitna ng pandemya na ito, listen to Jesus. Allow Jesus to direct your future. Allow Jesus to lead us in these coming days. And St. Peter assures us that as an eyewitness of the transfiguration, Jesus will become a light in the darkness of our lives. Let us entrust the coming weeks. Let us entrust the coming days to Jesus. And if we listen to Jesus like the Father instructed us, we are sure that the coming days, the coming weeks will be good only if we listen to Jesus. Amen. In the Transfiguration, the Father revealed the glory of His Son. We do not see His glory now, but as we wait for the Kingdom, we pray in His name to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord that the glory of Christ may shine through the Church as we faithfully listen to Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That the beloved Son may lead the nations into the paths of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That we may grow in grace, that others may see the light of Jesus in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That people who suffer may see their future in the transfigured Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That the dead may be transfigured in the likeness of Christ's glorious body. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. Lord God, it is wonderful for us to be here. Receive the prayers of this community assembled to hear your words and to offer the sacrifice of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son. And by His radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He revealed His glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which He shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of His disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you willed to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.